three, two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation on the Travels with Buddy Station? Today is January the 15th already. And it was a chilly day, but it was a it was a nice day. I took Buddy out for a walk today, got some exercise on, bud. <laughs> and um you did quite a bit of walking today too. But for a workout today, for an exercise today, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate a very old ancient exercise. It's this exercise, they they say it's probably more than 2,500 years old. It's an, it's an ancient Tibetan exercise. And it's, it's called the, the two dogs pose. Two dogs pose. And there is, um, it, it is it, it's, it's one of the five Tibetan rites exercises. It's, it's the fifth of the, of the five Tibetan rites exercises. And there's two poses in this exercise. There's a downward facing dog pose and an upward facing dog pose. And it's a really good exercise for increasing flexibility and strengthening your core muscles. Um, in particular, your, your back, your abdominals and strengthening your hips and your arms and your shoulders as well. And it's a very good exercise and it's one that, um, I, I just started practicing a little bit uh, a few months ago, and I noticed it's, it's a very good exercise for increasing flexibility and strength. Right, bud? So without further ado, I will demonstrate that exercise. And bud, you can spot me from the other room. And... <laughs> bud, and I'd like to see Buddy facing the camera instead of... Because your fans want to look at your face and not your butt. <laughs> All right, bud. So without further ado, I will demonstrate that exercise. And bud, you can spot me from the other room. But I definitely want to want bud to have some camera time. Right, bud. Because he is an awesome looking dog. Let me hear you. <laughs> so I'm going to demonstrate this ancient exercise but first I want to make sure Bud gets some camera time too because I know his fans definitely want to see him he's 10 years old now I'm 51 we're both getting old so we both got exercise right Bud like today I went for a walk Buddy walked for about a mile and a half I walked for about three miles but Bud got some exercise so I guess with those Short legs, it probably felt like three miles to him, huh, bud? <laughs> so without further ado, I will demonstrate that ancient exercise, the fifth of the five Tibetan rites exercise. It's called the upward dog and the downward dog. So without further ado, I will demonstrate that exercise. Then when I'm done, I'll make Buddy his lunch because I know he's getting anxious and he wants to, he wants to eat his supper. So I will do a quick exercise video. And Bud, you can spot me from the other room. And I will demonstrate the upward and the downward or the two the two dogs. I don't think they originally called it called it the um, the two dogs exercise because I don't even know if they, they called it that. 2,500 years ago, but they did do this exercise at that time. Basically, you start off like in a plank position, and you want to inhale and exhale, breathe comfortably as you're doing the exercise. And I'll start off in the upward dog pose. You arch your back. And hold for about five seconds. I can hear Buddy drinking his water. That's that noise you hear in the background. And then the downward facing dog, you just 
in this position here, you can feel your abdominals working, your hip flexors working. And hold this position for about five seconds. In this position, I can feel my, my abdominals getting a nice stretch, my lower back being stretched. Hip flexors, very good exercise. Hold this position for about five seconds. And stop there. I think I did about five or six repetitions. That felt really good. And I'll probably do a few more. I'll probably do about 10 or 15 repetitions on each angle. The upward facing dog and the downward facing dog. And I'll tell you, that felt really good. Breathing and focusing and you could feel a nice stretch in, in your back muscles, in your abdominal muscles, like when you're doing the upward the upward facing dog, I feel a nice stretch in my abdominals and I can feel my, my lower back, the muscles in my lower back, they're getting a nice stretch and flex in my core, my hips, my glutes. It's a very good exercise. And remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. This exercise is the fifth, uh, the fifth right of the, the five, of, of the five Tibetan rights. If you like, if you like this exercise, maybe I'll demonstrate one of the other four of the Tibetan right exercises. They're all very good for increasing uh, flexibility, strength, and you get a, a sense of peace and calmness when you're doing the exercise too. It's a really good exercise. So remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Remember to keep training, keep taking those walks, and have an awesome day. All right, everybody, peace out.